epidemiological study show that every seven seconds new case of Alzheimer's disease occur globally. So there is no time to lose. 30 years ago we postulated and showed in our models that the driving force in developing Alzheimer's disease is tau protein. This now has been confirmed by another large studies which said yes tau is driving force in Alzheimer's disease. This tau protein function as a support for railways on which are being moved information, food for neurons and, 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 and whatever. So it is a communication essential part of our, our brain. Current situation is such that we still don't have a disease modifying treatment. And axon neuroscience is coming now with a novel approach, with the first vaccine ever made against tau protein, which is considered to be the major trigger of cognitive impairment and memory loss in Alzheimer's disease. The vaccine, which is actually not a drug itself, it is a pro-drug, which is being injected to the patient with Alzheimer's disease, and own immune system of the patient is producing antibodies against the target sequence. So in other words, antibodies are being a drug, therapeutic drug, binding to the unwanted sequence and the immune system will remove this sequence. And removing the sequence of tau protein, which is responsible for its dysfunction, means eliminating bad guy from the, from the human brain. And after 40 years, roughly when we are 50, 60, the first sign of Alzheimer's disease can occur. And so it tells us that the process of developing Alzheimer's disease is very slow. So we have just to in time to interfere. If we remove that protein, we remove cause and driving force in Alzheimer's disease. So by definition, we should be treating the patients and possibly curing them. So this is a major challenge and, and which is in, in front of us. So what we should do that uh, we try and we uh, push AD from us away. First of all, we need a lot of oxygen to pump into our brain. Best device how to achieve this is walking. So we need energy. Then we need proper sleep. And one thing what you can, each of us can test on himself or herself is keep happy and smiling.